Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a disassembly video to do for you. This is the Beyond EDC River Wolf, and my buddy Ron sent this in for me to check out, and uh, he said I could take it apart, so we should see what is inside. Looks like some um, plastic cage bearings, possibly multi-row, hard to tell. The detent, I feel like it's getting a little better, or I'm used to it, but still can fail it easy. But maybe if we clean it out or something, we can do something about that. It is dead centered, which is nice. And it's a big knife. It's an M390. Let's take a look here. I got my Journey Tool Co. Taurus driver, T8. Oh, we got Loctite. Oh, okay. I can't break that. I don't want to break the tool, you know what I mean? Let me try some stub force, and if that doesn't work... Uh, I may just stop this. Got it. Okay. Sometimes you just need the stubber, guys. Looks like they used a lot of Loctite. Looks like it's the red kind. <laughs> they didn't want me in here. That's for damn sure. All right. T8 down here. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Jesus Christ. I hate when companies do this. Like you're not supposed to service your knife or something, you know? Okay, before I go messing around, it's T6 on the clip, and I'm hoping I don't have to take it out. Because I really don't want to have to use force like that on a T6. It's just never... Oh, my God, look at that red Loctite, man. I mean, it's white now, but where's the T6, guys? Uh-oh. There it is. Damn it. Do I have to take it off? I hope not. I think I do. God damn it. Probably goes into the backspacer, but you think it really goes that far into the backspacer? I can tell, actually. Hang on. thread is right there so i don't think it does i don't think i need to remove the clips hang on i need a pry tool sorry guys Ah, there it is. I reorganized shit. Shouldn't have. Yep, that would have sucked. I mean, I wouldn't have taken it off, but we do have multi rows, like I thought. Ah, uh, they're using a grease. Yeah, That's probably why it's not dropping shut. <sighs> Come on. Jesus Christ. So I may actually have skiffs I can put in here. We shall see, but I don't know if I want to. I think it might be the only set I have, and they're for the Evo. I don't know if he's making more, so it's kind of risky. Plus, these are good. They're just plastic. And I'm thinking if I use KPL instead of grease, it might drop shut. Which maybe nobody else wants that but me, but hey. really would like to help with the detent but that's not for me to deal with the only thing we could try because it does cut oh no the detent ball is there never mind i was gonna say we could try replacing the chip but okay. 
clean this out. Uh, where's the can there? Just real quick, I'm gonna give us a blue. Good a tool as any. Just trying to get some shit off. All right. Clean these bearings. See how they look. Then we can assess. They look pretty shitty, honestly. I mean, I, I just don't understand that sometimes. You go through all the trouble of making a $400 knife or whatever, and you don't just take the extra step and put good bearings in, like... That might not be the case here, but I just hate that in general, like custom makers using steel bearings. Like, come on. Just charge me 12 bucks more and use skiffs, guys. So these actually feel pretty good. They're a little thin, but they might get the job done just fine. Let's try them. And if not, we can try the skiffs. So uh, I think we got everything cleaned up, right? Pretty easy there. So we'll just take... KPL, start getting these guys lubed up. a bigger knife and this is a smaller tray so I'm trying to be careful here oh hold on the D shape is facing upward here so turn it this way is this loose no and it's got the nice notch D I like the D-notch better than probably most ways of doing it. So get it on there. Close that. We just put a little... Should clean inside there too. Just in case that could be hindering the D10 at all. Some kind of shit in here. Didn't see anything, but hey. All right, so we want this to be straight up and down as we place this on. Sometimes you can just kind of get the pivot in and then do everything else, and that is what we did. Oh. I'm gonna just thread this guy in. We're gonna test the action first before we Loctite it, I think. I just wanna see. Cause I might be trying the skiffs. So I just wanna, just wanna give it a test. Oh yeah. All right, so hold on. So, centering, we have no play. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, baby. The detent feels better too because there's no grit, there's no, there's no catch, right? Jeez, it's a guillotine. So it should be at this size, you know? Yeah, that feels so much better. Look at that. Can't fail it now. That was me trying to fail it. <laughs> Still not like super snappy, but I mean, you can get it going real easy. Yeah, dude, that is money. Don't need the uh, skips. So that's good. So let me take it out and we'll put the Loctite in and then we'll call it a day. Glad I could be of service on this guy. Just 
and get a little alcohol there, clean off this gunk. Yeah, guys, that's something you need to know from factory a lot of times. Some companies will use um, grease or something like that. Um, and grease is obviously not the best thing for knife action. If you're the kind of guy who wants to drop shut action, right? If you're like me. If you're somebody who wants um, a nice, smooth, sort of hydraulic action, then, you know, then that might be the way to go. But I feel like it usually hinders the action. Like, you saw the detent. It was worse with it. So, I mean, guys, this is a different knife, in my opinion. So... I am very, very happy I did this. Um, the centering looks dead on to me. I mean, we might be able to back off a touch. I don't know. We'll see. No, it kind of likes that position because it's kind of locking in, so to speak. Uh, it's centered, guys. And there, it's a rock. I mean, and then it drops shut. So can't ask for much more there, guys. So, uh, yeah, thank you for checking it out. I really appreciate that. Got a little more there, so let's just see if that did anything. Oh, yeah. That might have brought it even more centered. I love you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is why you take your knives apart, guys. Unless you don't care, right? That's perfectly fine. But this knife... That in the unboxing, I was kind of like, Meh, you know, now I'm kind of like, yeah, this is pretty nice, right? I got a choil, I got great ergos, got a good blade on there, got a good feel, and I get a drop shut action and a solid detent, right? I mean, it's a game changer for me. So, um, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.